Now, this crash has law enforcement pleading with drivers to pay attention out on the roads. Yeah, new tonight at 6 o'clock. They gave our own Alan Carter an eye-opening look today at just how little time it takes for distraction to turn into disaster. When someone says distracted driving, the first thing that may come to mind is a cell phone. But, of course, literally anything can distract you. Turning on or off the navigational aids, trying to find out what is the street number I'm looking for. I mean, all those types of situations. Adjusting the heat, dropping something on the floorboard. That's what they stress at Indiana's Law Enforcement Academy. An initial report suggests that it was a sip of coffee that pulled away a semi driver's attention Sunday in an explosive crash that took three lives. Oh, what a horrible tragedy. Captain David Yunts teaches officers at the academy and says just looking away for a few seconds can lead to disaster. If you would take your eyes off the, the highway for five seconds and if you were traveling 55 miles an hour, you would cover the length of a football field 100 yards in five seconds. And five seconds is not a lot of time, while 100 yards is a huge distance. 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. 56. Hard to even convey on camera. I can. That blue dot there is Captain Younce. It would be pretty hard to do all my interviews like this. <laughs> <laughs> it would be. He says the thought of blindly driving past a football field should be enough for people to let whatever it is wait. And I think people just get in the habit of that daily drive to and from work and they just don't take that into consideration and put it in this perspective. In Hendricks County, Alan Carter, Channel 13. Eyewitness News. Thank you, Alan. Now, state laws currently deal specifically with texting and driving, but now law enforcement trainers say they're hoping this new legislative session brings new laws, making it easier to cite drivers for other types of distracted driving. In fact, Governor Eric Holcomb has voiced his support, and he hopes that a hands-free driving law is passed this session in Indiana.